hey guys welcome back to the video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can implement level lock and unlock system inside unreal engine so as you can see here we have eight different levels in our game and if you want to open any level uh, you can't open it except level one because all of them are locked and as you will go through this trigger box you can open the next level now level two is unlocked now we click on it it is opened now the same thing will goes with all the levels and you can customize it according to your levels we are at level 3 and we goes through this trigger box level 4 gets unlocked and when we want to delete our level progression again so we can click on this button and as you can see about all the levels get locked again so let's jump into the video how we can do it so before you continue let me tell you that you should already have the basic knowledge about save game blueprint class because we are going to use that in this video in order to save our level progression even after the player close the game the data will be saved and we can continue from the level which we unlocked last time so as you can see i have already set up this ui under this user widget and we have from level 1 to 8 and now under the graph you can see on click event we can open the specific level without any restriction of level logged or unlocked and we will remove this ui after we open that level so uh, as you can see here also we have set up all the levels from one to four and our main menu currently we are at main menu and we have to call that level select menu so inside the level blueprint i'm going to call event begin play and on the event begin play i am going to create a widget uh, our level select ui and we are going to display it on the viewport so add to the viewport and after that uh, we are going to search for set input mode ui only after that let's call our player controller and uh, attach the parameter after that we want to show the mouse cursor uh over the ui so we are going to call the set mouse show mouse cursor this should be a boolean here you go and i'm going to uh, set it to true after that you can attach the parameter to it also and after that just compile and let's test this as you can see let me adjust it first yeah so as you can see we have our mouse cursor over the ui and ui is also working as i click on the level one our level one uh, get open and if i click on level two our level two is also uh, get open same goes with all the levels so after that what we are going to do is we are going to create the save game blueprint class so let's go into the folder and right click select the blueprint class and under the all classes here so you can search for save game now here you can see the save game blueprint class just click on it and click on select after that just rename it we are going to name it level lock save game now let's open this now let's create the variables it is going to be the boolean type and now let's rename it uh, we are going to name it level 2 unlock let's create multiple copies of it for each and every level and now we can rename it for every level name after that you set up all the booleans we can finally compile and save so what is it going to do is it will store the information about either the level is unlocked or not and the purpose of using save game blueprint class is that if we change these boolean from false to true it will going to save this information if even if we we'll reopen the game so uh, now let's go to our level 1 uh, yeah let's save it so here we need something that will be responsible for the unlocking of our next level so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a trigger box so for that let's go to our folder and right click go to blueprint class and get a blueprint class actor I'm going to name it trigger box exit blueprint 1 let's go into it and on the event graph i don't need any of these so let's go to viewport 
add the component search for box collision so you can adjust this box collision according to your level i'm going to scale this up a little bit so after that let's uh, compile it and place it into the level after that we are going to implement the level unlocking system uh, in the blueprint so let's go to the event graph right click on the box add event and on component begin overlap just click on it and now we need to cast to third person character so we are doing this because we only need to trigger this box when uh, our third person character will pass through it so let's connect all the parameters it need in this case we are going to connect it to other actor and now let's search for create save game object okay so here we need to select our uh, level log save game because we need to access all these boolean variables in this actor blueprint so let's select this after that in the return value we can access all the variables we need so let's search for set level uh, level 2 unlock yeah there you go and let's set it to true yep and after that we can save it to a slot now search for save game to slot okay now we need to connect the parameter to the return value and now we need to give a slot a name so in this case i'm going to give it a name of slot 1 so after that we need to open our main menu so that we can select the next level uh, and we need to uh, give the level a name we need the exact name so we are going to copy the name from here the exact name will copy and paste it over here there you go now let's compile so uh, now let's test this click on play and if we go here yeah it will open the main menu so yeah this is working now what we need to do is we need to create the duplicate of this actor class there you go i just uh, control plus w this will duplicate it now let's go to our level 2 and do the same for this level let's place the duplicated actor into this level and now we need to open this actor blueprint and make some of the changes here so let's delete all of these once our player overlapped the box collision in level 1 the game slot must be created already so we just need to load it in order to load it let's uh, search for load game from slot and here we need to give it the same slot name which we gave it previously which is slot 1 so let's type it so after that from the return value let's cast to our level log save game there you go now through the cast we can access all of these variable so from this parameter uh, let's search for set level 3 unlock yeah there you go let's connect it and let's set it to true after that we need to save it to the same slot so let's search for save game to slot after that connect it to the cast parameter and give it the same slot name that is slot 1 so after this we need to open our main menu so just search for this node and type the uh, exact name of the main menu so let me tell you what just happened in the tick box one we created the save game object and access our boolean variable through it and save it to the slot in the trigger box two we load that slot we cast to our save game exit the variable and save it to the slot again so uh, the same thing we are going to do again we just need to duplicate these actor and let's open this and we need to change this boolean we are going to search for set level four allow and we are going to set it to true and connect it through the execution pin after that compile it let's open our actor 4 delete this boolean search for set level 5 unlocked connect to the execution pin set it to true and compile it 
Now we are going to place these actor to their respective levels. So this is the time to check whether the level is locked or unlocked when we click the button. So to do this, uh, let's go to our graph and for the level 1 we don't need to do anything because it will be unlocked by default so on click event of level 2 let's load the game from the slot and give it the same name that is uh, slot 1 and from the return value we can cast to the level lock save game here connect the execution pin and then let's move it to a little bit left let's search for the variable we need that is level to unlock so uh, to check the condition we need a branch so get it and after that connect it to the parameter and the execution so after that if the condition is true we are going to open our level 2 if it is not then we are going to print something let's say we are going to print locked so that we can know if the uh, level is locked or not and we can do this thing for rest of our button we can uh, copy it and paste it again and again but this approach is wrong because we are loading loading the slot and casting the save game again and again which will affect our performance so we can do it on event construct it will be triggered only when the ui is created so we just need to delete it from here and paste it on the event construct so we can load the slot and cast to the save game only once now we need to promote this cast to a variable so that we can access those boolean variables from this variable okay so now let's get this cast reference variable now we need to check if this variable is valid or not we are doing this to prevent the errors while casting if any now let's connect all the execution pin and to the variable to access the variable correctly okay so we can copy this thing to each and every on click event so let's copy this and connect it to the all execution pin and to the condition okay so here we need to change the condition variable uh, we need to check if the yeah the level 4 is unlocked or not and here we need to check if the level uh, 3 is unlocked or not and uh, yeah this is what we need to do and i'm not going to do this for each and every level as this is just a tutorial so let's compile it and test this now let's go to our main menu let's save it and let's uh, click on play as you can see if i click on level 2 3 or 4 it won't open but level 1 do so let's go through this trigger box and level 2 must be open level 3 and 4 are still locked so level 2 as you can see it is unlocked level 4 is locked and level 3 is unlocked and the same procedure goes again and again so yeah this is working but now uh, if i will exit this and again play you can see still level 4 is unlocked this is because we saved it into our save game blueprint class now let's see how we can delete our level progression so let's go back to our user widget and on the designer tab i have already this button so on the on clicked uh, event uh, we can delete our slot so to delete it let's search for delete game in slot connect the execution pin and give it the same name we used before that is slot 1 now let's compile and test this also so we have our level 4 and all the levels unlocked and if we click this button now let's exit the editor and then let's try it again you can see they are locked again only level 1 is unlocked by default this can be used when you want to delete the level progression of the player so I hope I clear all the basic logic of level lock and unlock system. If you want to know how to create more advanced locking system like I used in my game Rampit, then let me know in the comment section. 
you can download my game through the link in the description and follow me on instagram if you want more videos like this please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and drop a like on this video this will give me motivation to make more videos like this till then see you bye bye